you build a very tough camera and you build a very versatile camera that can be used anywhere. And uh, we found that our success as uh, you know the world's best-selling sports camera company uh, has led to us being used for journalism. For, uh, Hollywood uses it for various point of view type of shoots. And uh, one day you wake up and you find out that uh, rescue teams are using it in Chile to document uh, the rescue of those uh, uh, Chileans from, from the mines. Uh, and it's testament to that a GoPro can go anywhere and capture imagery where other cameras can't. How do you look at it? Just on the computer? Yeah, there's an SD card in there. Okay. Oh, so I can just run it on the computer? Yeah. Okay. So, um... Hold on, buddy. I think it's recording right now. <laughs> You can take this camera and you can put it anywhere and record your life. You see life differently through a GoPro camera. Well, we're thrilled to be here. Thanks for inviting us to TechCrunch. Uh, GoPro's been having a blast at CES. And like you said, we are finding the GoPro camera. This is the HD Hero 2 go into every walk of life. Our history and our background of our company is we were founded in surfing. Our CEO uh, strapped a camera on his wrist and wanted to capture his experience while he's out surfing the waves of the Pacific. And uh, went from there into motorsports. And what we've found is that it's expanding into every vertical of life. Hey there, I'm Matt Burns, and I'm here at GoPro's new Seaside Development Office in Solano Beach to check out a pivotal update to the company's desktop and mobile application. So why is GoPro going after software now? So there's this issue where we know our customers uh, like to shoot video, and they have done so, and we've, they've bought a lot of cameras and uh, shot a lot of video, but they, that next step of, of getting that content ready to share with the world, with their friends, their family, the internet, uh, that's, it's a difficult obstacle to overcome right now. So software is the solution to that, whether it's our mobile software uh, or our desktop software to help you create those edits. Um, we see the whole software as part of a key part of the ecosystem. So GoPro, you founded that in 2002. How old were you at the time? 26. 26. Why did you start it? Well, when I was 22, uh, I promised myself until the age of 30 to make it as an entrepreneur. And <clears throat> I didn't even know what that meant. I thought of it more in terms of being an inventor and, and coming up with something. I didn't really think of the whole business side of it out, you have a great idea and then you have to build a business around it and I hadn't really thought that far but ignorance is bliss because if I had thought that far and knew what went into it I probably would have been so scared that I, I, I wouldn't have been able to go forward. Here at GoPro we're showing the Hero 3 Plus camera. Um, we like to say it's the world's most versatile camera. Um, so it allows you to capture, create, and share your moments, whether you're doing something extreme or just every day. Bro, how much capital did you use to start the company? Um, GoPro, while we've raised outside capital um, a couple of years ago, uh, that was largely to, to build a, a stronger board and, and to improve um, our relationships and the network strength of GoPro. Um, we haven't used that capital and uh, GoPro has been built on $265,000. So I decided to go surfing and pursue what I'm most passionate about because I believe that when you're indulging yourself in your passions, hopefully your healthy passions, um, you're turned on and you're most creative and ideas come to you. Ideas don't come to you sitting in a room thinking of a great idea, it never happens. They come to you out on the road bumping into people and, and, and living your life passionately and you find inspiration. And the irony was uh, that in planning this five-month trip around Australia and Indonesia, um, I actually came up with the idea for my business, which was a wrist camera that I could surf with to document my trip. And then the trip ended up being an R&D uh, trip. Uh -huh. And uh, it was the first surf trip I was ever excited to come home from.